Now that you can navigate the course, let's look at the specific content. Now remember that everything is organized by exam. So when you go down to the bottom, there's going to be content for the four exams that are in this course. Um, the final is optional. You can use it to replace the lowest exam grade. Once you open the content for exam one, please go through the assignments, um, do them in order. This The first is just a um, discussion on our NOVA um, student integrity policy, which is just a discussion on cheating. The next one is a practice on how to submit a PDF. You're going to need that to submit both your extra credit assignments, um, some lab assignments, as well as the scratch paper for your exam. The practice quiz here, and these are all required, um, is just to get to get you familiar with the Respondus Lockdown browser. And then there's one more um, assignment, making sure you're comfortable with Respondus Lockdown and browser. I cannot walk you through what that looks like. As, as a professor, we can't do that. You can only do that as a student. With this, um, most, it, most of the exams cover two chapters. Uh, the stuff is broken into the course material and the assignments, and then a link for how you study for the exam, as well as the labs that are, in a sense, linked or have the material that would be relevant for that particular exam. So if you start out with chapter one course material, just click on that one. And now you have your options. So there's a study guide. The study guide is just something I have written to help you go through and figure out how to take notes and how to learn the material. There are a couple of PowerPoints. There's an abbreviated and an extended. And then there is a section here will give you all of the, the text for each individual section in the textbook, as well as corresponding videos. So for example, chapter one, Section one, if you click on that, it will give you a brief course description which and your learning objectives. Start memorizing the names and the symbols, some of the elements on the periodic table. It's going to link you to the section in the textbook, as well as there will be a video on it. Some of these are just basic YouTube videos that I think are relevant and interesting. If it says my lecture on it, it is the material that I took directly from the chapter that I think is the most important. Um, but if you want to take a look and do anything deeper, there are always extra videos, including those done by a colleague, Dr. Kanzel, and those are there as well. So those are going to be all of the material in that you can take if you want to do and learn the material by reading the chapter. You can click on this section right here, and it will take you to that particular section in the book. You can go through, you can read it. At the end of every chapter, there are key terms, there are equations, and there are exercises, and you can work through and learn the material in that fashion. That is up to you. If you don't, don't wish to learn it like that, you can certainly instead um, go through and take a look at the PowerPoints and go through the PowerPoints, but they are just sort of standard PowerPoints. Um, not everything is explained, or you can watch the video on what would be a lecture if you were in person. So that is what the material looks like. So that would be chapter one. Now that is going to be for every um, chapter has every single section broken down um, into its material. It's linked to the textbook as well as the um, videos or lecture videos on that and some extra ones. There's also always a section called extra material. Extra material here is the key to the extra credit, the key to the study guide, and my own personal notes. Just things that are there in case you want them. So with that, you can take and you can go through and learn the material. So however you feel like you can do that, or you want to do that, all the material is available for you. So that's chapter one. So once you've gotten through and you've taken a look at this, where are you going to go? You're going to go to the online homework. So I'm going to take a quick finish up on this and then we'll do a separate section on the online homework. So you've got chapter one, you've got your materials. Once you've finished chapter one on your materials, you're going to do chapter two, course materials. Now note that's the material, those aren't your assignments. The assignments, the things that are going to be graded are in that second um, link there and those are going to be the achieve. Achieve is our online homework and those are going to be all of your achieve assignments as well as the extra credit. Every ch chapter has an extra credit assignment. Um, 
They are listed as worth zero points only because that will allow it to be extra credit. And every homework um, extra credit that you turn in will count as extra credit to, directly for your exam. So once you have finished going through the um, two to three chapters that are in each exam or in this particular exam, go to the link that says studying for the exam. Studying for the exam has a what to know for the exam, um, a sample exam, as well as the key and the equation sheet that will be linked directly into the exam. Once you feel like you're ready to do that, you can take and go to the exam. The exam itself has to be accessed from the proctored assessments. That is a separate module, and you're going to go there and you're going to do the proctored assessments. You're going to do this one right here, exam one. Once you start it, you can't unstart it. Due dates are here. And a quick note on due dates. If you have not activated the calendar function on your Canvas, please do that. It is probably the best thing that Canvas offers is a really nice, clean um, calendar. So if you take a look here and we realize the course starts on the 17th, these are the due dates. So on here are all of the optional lectures, everything that is due, and this includes all of your um, labs, all of your online homework, as well as your exam and any other assignments that you might have. So basic, um, how to study, how to take the exams. Remembering that the exams are using Respondus Monitor and Lockdown, which is going to require that you have a webcam and a nice, clean, quiet space to do this. Um, we'll deal with that in a few moments as well.